hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall again today we are going to discuss very important topic of firewall world which is checkpoint firewall security components and their architecture let's deep drive into that checkpoint security components are divided into followings one is your GUI client one is your security management and one is your gateways GUI client smart console applications such as smart logs smart events smart reporters smart dashboards these are some examples of the GUI client we used to get the executor, uh, executables for these clients and uh, and we get the executables and these executables are very useful to perform a different gateway operations and help us to provide a uh, different features security management involves all of the security management processes and the gateway security gateway involves all security gateway process we are going to deep drive on uh, components like uh, security management and security gateway uh, on this video uh, we are not going to talk about the GUI clients so let's start the management components the management components is responsible for all management operations such as reporting login policy initialization uh, i mean uh, policy initialization etc checkpoint components architectures actually divided into two mode or uh, phases you can say one is your user mode phase or a process and the other one is kernel mode process or phase where each process is responsible for several operations as shown on the screen cp components architectures which is divided into two mode one is user mode and another one is kernel mode user mode have a different processes involved altogether like kernel mode also have a different processes involved altogether please note all of the functionality of the management server is implemented in user mode processes and kernel mode is more of responsible for the you know majority of the security gateway related operations kernel mode resides in the lowest possible location uh, as you can see on a screen user mode allows firewalls to function more efficiently in the application layer there is interdependency between the user mode and the kernel mode in some situation there is a requirement that user mode and the kernel mode process need to communicate to allow this i mean some of the application to work well uh, there are two mechanism uh, uh, using that the kernel mode and the user mode process communicate to each other one is input output controls in short we call it io ctl and the other one is traps when kernel mode process wishes to signal to a user mode process it set a trap it is actually changes the value in a registry key and how the traps set the user mode process monitoring that flags those are like a uh, stumbles on the traps and perform the requested operations and when the user mode entity needs to write information to kernel process it uses input output controls io ctl which is an interface uh, uh, which is an uh, infrastructure which allows the in, uh, entity to call a function 
in the kernel and supply the required parameters you know when administrator trying to debug the firewall by looking at these details he can decide which process functionality is implemented in the user space and which is implemented in the kernel mode process we are going to deep drive into the processes which resides at the or which functions at the user mode and which functions at the kernel mode so next slides give gives you all the processes and their details now let's see what are the processes uh, we get in a management servers and what are the processes we get in a security gateways management servers or management component processes are below management server or the management component one of the important process what they have is fwm fwm is management process which is available on any management products including multi domain security management and on the product that require direct gui access such as your smart event below are the main functionality of the fwm number 1 Number one, FWM is management process. So it performs all GUI client communication related things. This is a communication between the management server and the GUI client, and which is done by the GUI client communication part. Second one is DB manipulation, database manipulation. this includes all the actions that are performed on the management mgmt such as object creations rule creations user creations etc number 3 policy compilation fwm handles the policy compilations that is later applied to the network traffic during the inspection process management ha sync or a management ac sort of functionality the sync management is handled in management high availability as well uh we can use in a latest uh boxes previously with the utm1 hybrid deployment as well next important management process is cpd cpd stand for checkpoint daemon CPD is a core process available on every checkpoint product. CPD works on management server as well as security gateway. Below are the security uh, below are the some features or functions of CPD daemon or a CPD process. Number 1 CPD use for secure internal communication functionality secure internal communication is very important part uh when we talk about the communication need to be happen between the management server and the gateway it has to be done via uh, sic the port where the sic is listen those are uh, ports under 18 series i mean 18xx uh i mean uh, ports are uh, sick op 18209 uh certificate pull also one of the important port uh, uh for the certificate pulling uh, we use one of the important port which is 18210 and certificate push we use 18211 second important functionality of cpd is status i mean it pull a mon status from the gateway monitoring status from the gateway which is used uh, for the management using uh, gui 
uh, functionality like uh, uh, I mean or you are using a smart event or a smart monitoring the third important functionality of the CPD is transferring messages between the firewall processes so we will be see that part how the messages are transferred between the different firewall processes as well and the last functionality and important critical functionality what CPD performs which is policy installation using this it receives the policy on the gateway and pushes it forward to the relevant processes and to the kernel now let's see next uh, important management process which is FWD FWD stands for firewall daemon FWD allows other processes including the kernel to forward logs to the server as well as to the management server FWD is related to the policy installation I mean uh, FWD also use when policy installation uh, begins and also used to communicate with the kernel using the command line tools such as the command we use FW commands for example uh, when setting the kernel variable or when we change the any parameter in the kernel variable that time this FWD process also invoke or whenever you run the commands using uh, I mean the kernel control commands when you run those commands that time also the FWD come into the picture basically FWD most of the time we refer whenever the logging you know come into the picture if you have any issue related to the logging uh, administrator initially or first time uh, he look into this FWD process whether it's listening well and uh, communication happening with the FWD so most of the logging related issues got resolved with the help of FWD process now let's see the next process uh, which is FWSSD FWSSD is a child process of FWD and FWSSD is responsible for manipulating the security servers in some other videos we'll see what is security servers and how uh, uh, they work if you talk about the example FWSSD invoke according to uh, whenever you activate the features such as DLP uh, corresponding rules with the DLP or whenever you invoke with the URL uh, resource or SMTP resource or sort of authentication so basically FWSSD is a child process of FWD and a uh, lot of features uh, uh, it performs so whenever you have a uh, any sort of issues such as with respect to the you know DLP blade activated and uh, the rule creation everything you know it's impacting or whenever you you know create your uh, URLs and any issues with that in, in terms of the you know uh, firewall functionality or the management server functionality or in sort of you know a SMTP sort of uh, SMTP resource or authentication issues uh, you need to look into this uh, FWSSD process as well and the last process uh, which I would like to mention here is CPWD we also call it like a watchdog uh, CPWD or a watchdog is a process that invokes and monitor critical processes such as uh, checkpoint daemon, CPD, FWD, uh, you know uh, FWM on the local machine it has a functionality to attempt the restart to this process as well when this process get failed for example when you run the CP stop and CP start uh, that time CP WD watchdog also come into the picture in a background to restarting this processes 
and it has a built-in feature where uh, if this process has got down due to one of the another reason it's restarted them or it's try to attempt uh, it's, it's attempt to restart these processes among the processes monitored by the watchdogs are like uh, CPD, as I said, CPD, FWM, uh, FWD, and uh, all of the processes. Uh, just run the command cpwd underscore admin list space list. You will see the uh, different processes which uh, watchdog or a CPWD uh, monitor. Let's talk about something on a security gateway processes as well. Except the FWM process, rest of the process uh, works in security gateway as well. The security gateway usually we refer in a simple word. Uh, simple word is firewall. And security gateways components are responsible for the security enforcement, encryption, decryption, authentication, and accounting. The functionality of the security gateway is implemented both in user mode and the kernel mode. As the security gateway is the first and the foremost uh, network device running an OS, it is inherently vulnerable to various network layer attacks. To mitigate this risk and the others, uh, others some of the fun firewall functionalities implemented at the OS level. This allows the traffic to be inspected before and getting to the OS or to the IP stack so basically these processes are useful to handle the traffic and uh, inspect the traffic if you like to see more of uh, how the is uh, CPD FWD FWM and uh, uh, other processes work together I have uh, another video where I have in uh, brief about the packet inspection please go ahead and watch that video and understand how these processes are interrelated and how they work together to process packet for this video this is what uh, i have for you guys